In less than a year, the James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized the way in which we see the cosmos. Multiple photographs acquired by the world's largest telescope with the finest infrared resolution and sensitivity have gone viral since December 25th, 2021. And now a more shocking revelation has come to light regarding what we thought about the beginning of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope has just discovered a massive structure which seems to be older than the universe as we know it. What could this structure be? How did scientists discover it? And what could this mean regarding the knowledge of modern day science? Keep watching this video till the end to find out. James Webb is the world's most advanced telescope. The Integrated Science Instrument Module gives the telescope electrical power, cooling, and structural stability. The ISIM carries the telescope's guide camera and four science instruments. The NIR cam is the observatory's wavefront sensor, or NIR spec, performs spectroscopy across the same wavelength range. Mid infrared equipment measures mid to long infrared wavelengths. Fine guidance sensor, near infrared image, and modest spectrograph stabilize the line of sight during science investigations. So far, Webb's photographs and data justify its $10 billion price tag. The first images from the telescope in decades were revealed on July 12, 2022. Experts believe they show Webb at its best, ready to unveil the infrared universe. These included photographs of Carina Nebula's cosmic rifts, exoplanet WASP-06b, the Southern Ring Nebula, Stevens Quintet, and the deep field perspective of the universe. But these were the first batch. Since then, the James Webb Space Telescope has given scientists more stunning cosmic photos. These images have confounded astronomers and cosmologists. Since Webb's photos and data were released, astronomical articles have flooded in. These papers have panicked cosmologists. Why this panic? Well, the James Webb Space Telescope's findings contradict the Big Bang Theory. We must first understand the Big Bang to understand what's happening. The Big Bang model describes the observable universe's evolution. It was derived from observation and theory. It shows how well the universe came into existence from a dense, hot condition. This model explains the quantity of light elements, large-scale structure, and cosmic microwave background. It's consistent with hubble lemaitre law that more distant galaxies move away from Earth quicker. The hypothesis describes a shrinking cosmos before a singularity, where space and time lose meaning. According to cosmological measurements, the Big Bang occurred 13.787 billion years ago, and which is also the age of the universe. The Big Bang premise is straightforward. The Big Bang term for the expanding cosmos is deceptive. The term implies a firecracker bursting at a specific time and place. The universe is expanding inward. The universe is centerless. The Big Bang itself was global. It was a process, not an instant. This is because galaxies are fleeing each other, not at a central point. The heat from these early ages fills the universe. The Big Bang isn't visible, despite our wishes. There are symptoms of it, though. Scientists can picture the 380,000-year-old heat. Heat pervades the sky and universe. NASA and the ESA mapped it with Cosmic Background Explorer, Wilkins Microwave, Anisotropy Probe, and Planck. The universe was smooth with just tiny temperature ripples. The James Webb will see a previously unseen phase of the universe's history. Cosmic Background Explorer, Williams Microwave, and Isotropy Probe, and Planck saw further back than the James Webb. The James Webb Space Telescope will image the earliest objects that form after the Big Bang. As per Dr. John Mather, a James Webb Space Telescope project scientist, this time period is hundreds of millions of years older than the one previous satellites were meant to see. Dr. Mather thinks the satellite's temperature ripples were the seeds for new galaxies. We don't know how and when the earliest stars and galaxies were created. 
This is why James Webb was built. So, the Big Bang Theory explains how the universe began. In its simplest version, it argues the universe originated with an endlessly hot and dense single point that swelled and stretched at unfathomable speeds and eventually at a measured rate over the next 13.8 billion years to the currently growing cosmos we see today. The Big Bang provides our best guess regarding the universe's genesis. Some scientists now reject this theory due to recent web photos. Most cosmological thinkers defend the Big Bang Theory as undeniable. Alison Kirkpatrick, an astronomer, panics over new James Webb data. The latest revelations have her questioning all she's accomplished in the field. Small, smooth, ancient galaxies contradict the Big Bang Theory. Some scientists believe the Big Bang suggests the cosmos is expanding and an optical illusion exists in space. Galaxies and other cosmic objects don't shrink with distance. After a certain point, they should get bigger, as their light leaves them, yet James Webb's photos show them getting smaller. Even galaxies, brighter and more massive than our Milky Way, appear two to three times smaller. In other terms, the galaxies the Webb shows us are the same size as that of the nearest, proving the universe is really not expanding and redshift isn't proportionate to distance. Newer galaxies have a two to three-fold larger redshift. Eric Lerner and Ricardo Scarpa believe this defies the hypothesis of an expansion of the universe and supports their forecast of a non-expanding cosmos. They previously presented data based upon Hubble Space Telescope photos showing galaxies with redshifts up to five that match non-increasing ordinary space. They believe James Webb would corroborate their theory. Big Bang Theory predicted collisions and mergers will disrupt galaxies. Webb's photo showed smooth spiral disks, just like in modern galaxies. This article shows 10 times extra smooth spiral galaxies than projected. This contradicts the notion that mergers are common. This data destroys the merger theory as said by Lerner and Scarpa. The Big Bang Theory suggests that the farthest distant galaxies and James Webb photographs are seen as they were 400 to 500 million years after the formation of our universe. However, other galaxies have shown billion-year-old stellar populations. The Big Bang Theory says nothing existed before it. So the people who wrote the Panic article think that the fact that these galaxies exist shows that the Big Bang never happened. And in the same way, it is impossible for there to be galaxies that are older than that of the Big Bang. Theorists believe that when Webb explored deeper in space and time, galaxies would have become fewer and eventually disappear, signaling a cosmic dark age. Unpublished research shows that Milky Way-sized galaxies were common 100 million years after the Big Bang. According to the Big Bang, distant galaxies are smaller. Lerner says that Webb's images are not the only evidence against the Big Bang idea. He believes the Big Bang provides 16 wrong forecasts and one true prediction. The prediction for helium goes off by a factor of 2, and its prediction for lithium was off by a factor of 20. In addition to the lack of crater and faraway optical illusions, there are huge formations too big to have formed since the Big Bang. Many cosmologists and astronomers say there's an explanation for every uncertainty, and Lerner and Scarpa's study says the Big Bang isn't dead and Webb's data haven't disproven it. These observations have uncovered unusual cosmic facts. But the Big Bang Theory is based on two facts. First, galaxies that are farther away have one higher redshift than galaxies that are closer. Second, the universe has a microwave backdrop. The third pillar is the proportional abundance of elements within the early cosmos. They are only the model's base. Scientists have improved on these to construct the standard model of cosmology, often termed the LCDM concept. Everything from cosmic expansion to galaxy clustering supports this model. The Tolman test says that if the universe wasn't expanding and was just staying the same, the surface brightness among all galaxies would remain the same no matter how far away they were. However, the web images show that this is not the case. In these photos, far away galaxies have decreased surface brightness. Redshift doesn't imply galaxies are moving away, as many believe. Separate galaxies aren't moving through space. Space is increasing, putting us further apart. 
This contrast highlights that galactic redshift is caused by cosmic expansion, not relative motion. The James Webb Space Telescope's findings don't match experts' projections. Astronomers wanted puzzling data. They think that's why so much was spent on the James Webb Space Telescope. They know this telescope's data doesn't disprove the Big Bang concept. The well-recognized campaign to debunk the Big Bang is not the only thing spurred by James Webb Space Telescope photos. There is more, and this actually is some very encouraging news. The Webb identified a 13.5 billion year old galaxy just weeks after its first photographs were released. The glass Z13 galaxy is about 300 million years old, which is 100 million years older than anything else that has been found. Rohan Naidu of the Harvard Center for Astrophysics says the Webb may be viewing the most distant lights ever. It was found in James Webb NIR CAM's infrared to visible translation data. As part of the deep field, it appears like a red glob with a white center. Scientists examining James Webb data have determined that this galaxy has a mass of about a billion suns. It is a really shocking aspect that they do not comprehend, but they look forward to learning more once Webb's administrators grant them spectroscopy time. So what do you think? Do you believe there are even more ancient galaxies out there? And how about Lerner and Scarpa? Is their non-expanding universe idea plausible? Thanks for watching.